Hey all, this is Jake, and I just wanted to give you a little update for what's going on. Uh, Carrie and I had hoped to record our next episode by now, but unfortunately, between general busyness and the holidays, and Carrie's in the middle of moving, and there's been some sickness, we haven't been able to do it. So it looks like we'll probably record it sometime in January, and hopefully I'll have it out in January or maybe February, but I'm hopeful that we can get it done in January. Uh, One thing I should say is that since the new episode isn't going to come out for a little while and we're not going to record it probably until next year, uh, you know, until January, if you have a letter or something that you want to send us and have us respond to on the episode, then you should definitely send it. I have one letter. uh, Erin Redacted has sent me some notes on what she thought about Anna and the French Kiss. And so I'm going to read that and see what Carrie thinks about that. But if you have anything else, you could talk about one of the books we've already read. You can talk about one of the books we're going to read. You can talk about things that don't really have anything to do with any of it. And we'll probably read it because it's fun and we enjoyed it. So that's the bad news. But I also wanted to give a little sort of interim episode with, uh, I asked Carrie to send me a list of some books she's been reading recently. And I have a few books myself. And so if you celebrate Christmas and you are looking for a couple last minute things, or if you don't celebrate Christmas and are just looking for something new to read, We can go through those. And then I also thought I'd talk about some of the books that we have coming up that we're planning to talk about. And then that'll be about it. So, books that we've read recently. So I've got a few things. These aren't YA generally, but you might enjoy them anyway. Uh, One is called The Accidental Terrorist. It's by a guy named Bill Shun, who's normally a science fiction writer, but this is actually nonfiction. He used to be a Mormon, and he was a Mormon missionary in Canada, and became somewhat infamous um, because at one point, in an attempt to keep one of his fellow missionaries from deserting the mission, he called in a bomb threat to an airline. So that's kind of the climax of the story, but the whole thing is written in an entertaining and, you know, often kind of funny way. You know, he's got a lot of stories, and it really gives a good insight into what it's like to be a missionary from someone, you know, who... I feel like Shun really gives you some insight into what led him to do the things that he did while in no way excusing some of the really stupid decisions that he made. So that that was a really great one that I enjoyed. Another thing that I read, which is completely different, is The Amazing Squirrel Girl, which is a Marvel comic book. They released the first collection recently. It's written by a guy named Ryan North, who's a web cartoonist who does dinosaur comics. And it's illustrated by Erica Hendrickson, who does a really great job. Uh, It's just, it's written in this really funny way. And her general approach to things is to be like really pragmatic and kind of commonsensical in situations where there is no common sense to what's going on. Um, There was a book I read last year called A Key, an Egg, and an Unfortunate Remark. It's sort of like this supernatural thing. It reminded me a little bit of like what the Miss Marple books would be like if Miss Marple were a very powerful witch. And uh, I really just enjoyed the hell out of it. it. It also kind of reminded me of like a Neil Gaiman story or Gaiman. I'm not sure how that author's name is pronounced. And so I really liked it. So those are a few suggestions for you. And here's what Carrie had to say, and I'll try to give them the delivery they deserve. Carrie says, some things I've read lately. Anna dressed in blood. Boy kills ghosts. Boy meets pretty ghost. Ghost is super powerful and likes to rip people in half. What's a ghost killing boy to do? Jazz Dent is the son of the wicked, prolific serial killer Billy Dent. Billy taught Jazz everything he knew, but Jazz is no psychopath, right? This is the third book in the I Hunt Killer series, and I just reread it to remind myself how lucky I am to not have grown up with the world's shittiest parents. This book is gross as fuck, but I can handle horror books. Movies, on the other hand, no way, no how. Simon vs. the Homo Sapiens Agenda. Boy meets boy on the internets. They know they're in the same school, but who are they? Simon gets outed by a blackmailer, has a typically present YA parents, and this is generally a good, albeit a little predictable in parts, read. And then her uh, big recommendation is Aristotle and Dante discover the secrets of the universe. OMG, this book, I want to adopt it. I love Dante. I love Ari. I love this book. Two Mexican-American boys find friendship in the late 80s. A book about love, friendship, family, secrets, and so much more. Read this fucking book. 
So those are Carrie's recommendations. And maybe we'll do some of those on the podcast at some point. I don't know. It sounds like some of them are good prospects. In terms of what we're going to be talking about coming up uh, for the new year, the Golden Compass is what we're going to do next. And uh, that's by Philip Pullman. This is, if you've heard, listened to the last episode, you know that this is the book that kind of sucked Carrie back into reading YA. And it's a really influential, great book. I mean, definitely sort of inspired by or influenced by the Narnia books, but also a reaction against them. And then the next book is a book that I read a while ago called Citizenship by Will Howitt, which supposedly was not written as YA, but really kind of reads like it. And it's about, it follows the life, um, mostly the early life of an artificial intelligence. And uh, I thought it was pretty interesting, and I'm interested in hearing what Carrie has to say about it. Other books we're talking about, talking about Beauty Queens by Libba Bray, which is this kind of over-the-top wacky book about teen beauty queens being uh, crash-landed on a desert island and having to fend for themselves and really doing a pretty damn good job once they realize that they are extremely skilled at basically whatever they turn their hands to. We might do the other Philip Pullman books. That would be fun. Uh, there's a book that Carrie suggested I read, and which I did read, called Grasshopper Jungle by Andrew Smith. This book made me and Carrie both kind of uncomfortable because the protagonist is an extremely horny teenage boy. And then it's the science fiction thing, and there are giant insects that eat people, and it's super crazy, and the science is completely bonkers. But we both enjoyed it, so I feel like there's a lot to talk about there. Let's see. Then there are a bunch of other books that I'm not sure that we're going to read. But those are those are a few that we're talking about. One I think we'll talk about at some point is Vivian a- Apple at the End of the World, which is kind of, I feel like, a secular or non-religious version of the Left Behind books. There's, uh, you know, a rapture is predicted and on the day, the appointed day, a bunch of people actually do disappear. And uh, the protagonists try to figure out what was going on and what they should do. And spoiler alert. It had nothing to do with what any of the religious leaders said was happening. Um, I thought that was an interesting book. I was a little disappointed at the execution, but uh, yeah, still, I think we that that that's a strong possibility. And then a huge number of people have recommended Eleanor and Park by Rainbow Roll to us. So I think we might do that one at some point. Carrie also recommended a book called Fangirl by the same author. We might do that one first. I'm not sure what we're going to do there. But those are some other strong possibilities. So I think that's about it. There is plenty to come in the new year. Sorry for the delay between episodes. uh, But I just wanted to let you know that we hadn't forgotten you. And we're looking forward to talking about YA for you guys very soon. Hope you're enjoying the last days of fall. Or I guess when I release this, the first day of winter, and talk to you again soon. Bye. Give me a call when you get back. Hey there. Hey. Love, I, I, crazy. Crazy. Dot com.